you know, I want to tell you a little bit about the uh, Tom Sheeran Award. But first, and while, while I do that, I would, I would invite uh, any of the um, past, the previous Tom Sheeran Award recipients, and I know we have a couple of them in the room here today, I would ask that you join me on the stage because I do think that this year's recipient needs to understand um, and needs to see the lofty crowd of individuals to uh, whom they will uh, soon belong. All right, so while, while some folks are making their way to the stage then, previous re uh, recipients, I, I have to, again, I, I would be remiss if I didn't, um, thanks, if I didn't thank Baroness, wherever she is. <clears throat> you know, Baroness does all this and then disappears, so I don't, I don't know where, ah, there she is, okay. Um, Baroness, I, I, I do want to publicly thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to present this award again. It, it, it means a lot to me. I knew Tom. You know I knew Tom. Um, so to be, to be asked once again to do this, I thank you very much. <clears throat> Let me tell you a little bit about the Tom Sheeran Award. It's the, it's the longest standing award that we have in resources uh, for human development. Um, so who was Tom? Who was Tom? Tom was quite simply a remarkable individual. Tom was uh, a man of incredible passion, a man of uh, uh, insistence, fiery insistence upon, upon excellence, not only for himself, but for uh, all of those individuals uh, for whom he provided leadership. Tom had an expansive number of whys that Diane spoke about, and that was everybody. Tom was a vet, and so I think it's particularly appropriate that we, we celebrate this week uh, with his award, with the uh, celebration that was organized by Liza, Julicia, and Abby. I don't know if you're here, but if you would raise your hand and if you hadn't, uh, and, and, and given a, a warm applause, uh, you'll know that that the event that they, they organized was absolutely exceptional. <clears throat> so what's the process for the Tom Sheeran Award? Uh, it's hard. It is really difficult. We solicit um, nominations from across the country. And I've got to tell you, we, we, we've got to find a way to share these stories because the stories are just incredible about the work that folk are, folks are doing on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it's absolutely, absolutely amazing. So we've got to find a way to share these stories because the selection process of, of the recipient is incredibly difficult. Uh, but we do meet as a group. We do sort through uh, all of the, the nominations and have both the fortunate and unfortunate uh, privilege of having to select one individual to be the recipient. Let me welcome a, a few other folks that are gonna be important for the presentation of this award. So let me ask Mary and Jan to join me on stage, if you would, please. Just Mary and Jan, just Mary and Jan. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want the recipient to be coming up so soon. Okay, Aaron. Aaron's the director of the program. Thank you, Aaron. And this does call for glasses. Let me read a little bit from the nomination. This individual has been with RHD's Nashville Respite Program since October 2010. He served as a direct support professional and currently as a frontline manager. The recipient is a kind, giving gentleman who supports three consumers in the Mainstay Program in Nashville, Tennessee. He, his unit has always maintained a high level of quality and for many years for the home he works in, as a frontline manager, served as the model home for the program. The recipient has stepped up and taken on additional responsibilities 
to help stabilize the entire Nashville system. He's helped train new staff in the right way to deliver services and support as these efforts lead to a better quality for the life of all the people that we served in RHD. Please join me in welcoming the recipient this year of the Tom Sheeran Award, Mr. Cardell Sangster. All right, Cardell. We have, where are you? There you go. It's hard to miss him, isn't it? And I, I did. <laughs> uh, we have the uh, much coveted RHD swag bag. <laughs> this, this will remind you of this day, I'm sure, for years to come. There's all kinds of things in here that I'm sure you will find useful. And Cardell, you put us over the top, man. We used to have a much smaller plaque, but with the addition of Cardell, we had to go big this year. So, so Cardell's, Cardell's name will be inscribed on the list here. It will join the names of other uh, previous Tom Sheeran Award winners. And it hangs in our office, so I'll send you a picture, man. We're not taking this, we're not sending this home with it. <laughs> now, Baroness is, is wildly patting her area here because she, she knew that I might forget, and it really would be forget. Cardell, we also have a check for you. <laughs> As the award winner for the Tom Sheeran uh, Award for 2016, we have a check for $300 for you. Thank you, everybody. I'd like to say thanks to all my colleagues and coworkers for giving me this award. If I knew I was getting an award, I would have put on a suit. <laughs> but yeah, I, this is great. I never had an award at this magnitude, and I really appreciate it. And um, this award goes to all my people in RHD Nashville. We all do a good job trying to keep everything together, and this is for everybody. I'm gonna share this with everybody tonight. You know? <laughs> but I really appreciate it. Thank you.